Done. Lucky I'll put some. that motion. All those in favour say aye. 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 Opposed say no. That's carried. Um, Thank you. Item 14, car share and electric vehicle policy. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, look, I should have highlighted in the last one that we actually did consider the issue of um, uh, a report going to strategy and finance and there's another committee with the matter in its terms of reference. Um, then agreement between the chair of strategy and finance and the chair of the other committee, the, ma the matter may be referred through the other committee rather than strategy and finance. So we've sorted that out. So now if there's an item that comes to strategy and finance and it's more appropriate to ITI, then it can be agreed with um, RAF and Phil that it go to ITI. Right, so, oh, that's simple. sensible. Yeah. Good, sensible process. process. Mm. Right, car yeah, share and electric choose. vehicle policy. Who's behind this report? Are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was quite, what do you think? <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> Sorry, which, which, which committee did it come through? Issy. Um, Issy. Phil, do you want to speak to it? Back. Um, <laughs> part of the, one of the drivers. Pass yeah. the back. I'll, I'll get Vicky to. <laughs> I don't want to I'm pass the back. I just want to say I'm really pleased staff have done the, this work on it. Uh, it, it is um, right, right at the cutting edge of our transport. It's, it's, so it's part of that in car sharing and the electrical vehicle thing. And so it's, I think it's really good that um, council are, you know, right on top of the um, top of our game with us. But Very good. Nick can answer the questions. Or Vicky. Um, Paul. Yeah. I just think we need we need to front foot yeah. the, the looming future, mm -hmm. and be uh, uh, and really take on board and actually encourage people to look at new ways of getting around, like the Uber, like car sharing, like electric vehicles, which are coming here faster than we know what to do with it. I mean, we've got to get behind this here and and, le and lead uh, the city into a, an, into a new future. Yep. Um, this, um, okay. this allows us to actually put charging stations and car sharing mechanisms on the street yeah. mm. without, without having to suddenly go back and find rules and ways in which we can do them. So this is brilliant. The only thing we now need to do is fill them up with electric chargers, which is got a target of, uh, by early next year, at least five fast charging stations in the Christchurch, greater Christchurch area and then electric vehicles and then car sharing, electric car sharing. So this is the nice um, start. And Paul's right now, we just need to fill them up with electric vehicles. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Yanni? Uh, yeah, um, yeah this, this is a start. I thought we did have agreement at the committee that we would change it from the draft electric vehicle policy to um, something that reflected the, the contents of it more accurately, which is around actually the charging um, structures because it was discussed at the committee that, um, uh, and it may be charging and parking, but it was discussed at the committee that actually there's a, a lot wider work to be done around an electrical vehicles policy. For example, council possibly acquiring electric vehicles, work around electric buses. Um, so there were broader kind of goals around an electric vehicle policy for the council but that this I policy know, but if I may just say that really all of focused. those are encapsulated in the climate smart strategy aren't they so we felt they didn't need to be repeated in this one is that correct well, Nick that was that we didn't want to so it does say adopt the draft electric vehicle policy as a formal statement of position on the use of electric vehicle yeah. of associated infrastructure on city streets I mean I think we're probably splitting hairs to say that it's not a um, so an electric vehicle on, policy. Yeah. There will be wider issues that we will continue to come back to. There will be. Yeah. There will be. For example, and we can change the policy. For example, we'd have to anyway. Human policy should we yeah. have a preference for electric vehicles? This is actually about structures yeah, yeah. so on the street no, no, and getting. I understand those that. The only point I'm making is on page 109. The heading of the policy is different to what the council committee or the committee council <coughs> recommendation is. So it's right, it's correct. It's a formal statement on the position of the use of electric vehicles and installation of associated infrastructure. No problem, that's great. But when you read the heading of the policy, it makes it seem as though it's a draft electric vehicle policy for the City Council, which it's not really. So that's all, I was just trying to clarify that. So it might just be the draft electric policy, electric vehicle policy for structures on streets? Yeah, and so, well, just what it says in the recommendation. The use um, of electric vehicles and installation of associated infrastructure. Mm. Oh, well, can we just use that as a tidy up? I mean, um, a, the, we'll the, just tidy up the, the wording. You can tidy up the wording of what it is online, yeah. but. Yep. 
Leon, I wonder if um, Nick comments on this because he's pulled it all together and can probably give us some good advice. Yeah, so the um, what we've tried to do with um, both of these policies is make them um, broad and enabling and not too prescriptive. And so I think we, we might get, it might sound like we're getting a bit caught up in the, in the heading there, but um, it, essentially what the, when, we, when we say we're encouraging uh, the use of electric vehicles in Christchurch, uh, the thing that the, the role that the council primarily will play is the restriction of, of parking and uh, the, the, the enabling of, of, of easements and, and uh, the placement of structures on city streets. Um, going forward, how the operational and business models change, we may want, there, there may be other roles that we can play. Um, so uh, the, the, the policy uh, or the statement of intent towards the recurring issue of, of the use of electric vehicles and their role on the street is, is tried to, uh, we've tried to sort of encapsulate that in, in this policy by saying we encourage the use of electric vehicles, but uh, today specifically um, the, the primary role that uh, council will be playing uh, will be the restriction of parking spaces and and the instructions on streets. We, I, I'm happy to, happy to change the uh, <coughs> happy to change the name of the policy to uh, uh, the, the structures on streets policy. Uh, but the, 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 we do have a, a, a policy uh, for that within within the road reserve for things like uh, retaining walls, uh, garages, carports. So this is meant to sit alongside that, be consistent with that, uh, adhere to those principles. And uh, adhere to uh, and sit alongside a range of council policies as well. So it's meant to sort of sit in, in amongst a, a family of policies that council has that are outward facing uh, to to, uh, to sort of uh, address the issue of, of electric vehicles when they come along. And by having that statement of position about uh, encouraging the use of electric vehicles, uh, that broad sort of catch-all is intended to um, <coughs> help steer decision making when when there are issues that we maybe don't foresee today that arise, we'll be able to sort of um, continue uh, with yep. that direction. Yep, all good. All good? Yep. So Can I ask one question? Yep. Okay, thank you. Okay. Regarding to the draft car share policy on 111, page 111, the 3.1 policy statement, 3.3 .3 and 3.6, this one, I'm not sure because 3.3 .3 is kind of uh, focus on the council and the also the custom organization reach an agreement, sign an agreement. But 3.6, like the, those the uh, car sharing organization, they need to apply for with the detail one, then council approve. So a little bit uh, confused. So with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the car share policy, the, um, the, the, the the end goal would be to have sort of a, a, a number of vehicles that would comprise a fleet. Okay. Some of those spaces may be uh, designated for vehicles on council land, and they may they may strike up deals with private landowners to locate the vehicles on on, on private off street parking as well. Um, for us to be able to determine what is a legitimate um, activity of car sharing, we would need we'd need some sort of discussion and some sort of agreement uh, to be formalised with a car sharing entity. And uh, the, the details in there would sort of be the uh, the assurance we would need that we would be uh, giving giving up uh, potentially a parking space as consideration, um, which is which is part of the sort of the, the broader public realm uh, for something that is to be of the benefit of, of, of the broader public as well. And so those those sorts of details uh, would, would would need to would need to obtain from from the entity. And so that's just detailed in the policy that. Um, this wouldn't necessarily be a, um, a given or, or some sort of uh, free for all uh, when we're giving away parking spaces. So it's just it's just something in there that um, we would need to address um, on on a case by case <coughs> basis with each of the each of the uh, potential car sharing entities. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good.